first alert weather with Cassie Campbell is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. After a rainy morning, still tracking a little bit of activity across the heartland. Looking at our satellite and radar, seeing a majority of the rain still in parts of southeast Missouri headed into northwest Tennessee. Are tracking a little bit of rain just north of our viewing area that could start to track in, but for the most part, we're going to start to see these showers really start to diminish. Looking at some partly cloudy skies for us this afternoon. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit closer so we can see the rain and thunderstorms still currently working across the heartland. These flash flood warnings are in effect till about one o'clock this afternoon for any type of flash flood potential. So. Kicking off future cast, this is looking at 430 this afternoon. Looks like a majority of the showers have started to move out of the area. Still could track a spot shower or thunderstorm for the afternoon and into the evening, but for the most part, our afternoon is looking partly cloudy and dry. As we head into tonight, that becomes a different story, tracking the chance for some showers and thunderstorms in parts of southeast Missouri already by 9 o'clock, gradually moving across the heartland overnight into Saturday morning. Now, we're not expecting these to be near as catastrophic as what we've saw the past two days, but could dump some good rain in parts that have already seen quite a bit of rain over the past 24 hours. So be on the lookout for some flooding as we head into Saturday morning also. By the time we get near the afternoon and Saturday, starting to get a little bit more of a breeze there from the southeast. The clouds are going to partly clear out, seeing some more dry time on Saturday. As we head into Sunday, chances ramp up for some storms headed into Sunday afternoon and into the evening. So flash flood advisories for right now. Again, most of these expire between 1230 and one o'clock as those showers start to move out of the area and we start to get some more clear conditions. Looking at the next couple of days for our precip, tracking a 40% chance of rain tomorrow. That's mainly going to be in the morning. Once again, 60% chance on Sunday. We have a weak cold front that's going to start to drape through on Sunday. Could be bring some strong storms with that. We'll have to keep an eye on that system as it moves closer. And then a chance for some pop up showers as we head into next week, but looking much drier after Sunday. Highs today in the afternoon are going to get into the upper 80s, looking at 87 in Paducah, 86 in Marion, 88 here in Cape. Again, with a chance for some showers, but mostly staying partly cloudy and dry this afternoon. Scattered thunderstorms expected Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures staying in those lower 90s to upper 80s through the next couple of days there as that front moves through on Sunday, tracking some more drier conditions, partly cloudy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, before our next chance for rain arrives at the end of next week. But still seeing some nice evenings sitting in those upper 60s to lower 70s.